Greetings world. This is a message to all the people who support or who believe to be part of Anonymous. In this video I will be divulging into information that clearly states that Anonymous is a false flag operation created by the CIA and the government to enforce censorship, shut down the internet and to make new laws that go against the human rights of people around the world. Firstly I would like to clarify that in no way am I connected to law enforcement or trying to discredit the people who believe to be anonymous. I am simply offering you the facts for you to decide whether anonymous is a government plan. Firstly, during Operation Egypt, anonymous repeatedly claimed that they supplied an internet connection to the country's people via mobile phone connections during the time that the internet was shut down. This is not true. In several newspaper articles it states that the U.S. government supplied the internet to gain the trust of Egyptian citizens, for the sake of overpowering the Middle East. In another document that also claims that it was the CIA who provided the internet through an activist IRC channel hosted by Telecomics, which is the real home of anonymous or should I say the federal agents posing as activists? After doing research into the website many of the symbols on the page are related to censorship, data mining, Swedish hacker groups and the CIA. The WordBuild Wiki image at the top left was funded before the whistleblowing website WikiLeaks, which I also believe was created by the CIA to make a false claim that American national security was at risk when in fact it was the government itself. The word key corresponds to secret government operations, or code name for fake. Seems like a bit of a coincidence that the WikiLeaks owner Julian Assange was Swedish as are the hacking groups affiliated with the CIA, or so they claim he was. The Telecomics Crypto Munitions Bureau image is very similar to the CIA emblem and it refers to being an internet peace fair group, or quite possibly a federal hacking group, the people who can't surf the internet completely anonymously. The image at the far right depicts a woman holding a sand timer and a small Turkish flag. WikiLeaks also uses a sand timer in its website symbol and the Turkish flag could only correspond to the Turkish hackers or Operation Turkey, which Anonymous hadn't released at this point. In time, in other words, governments hackers who are creating a false cyber war. The point I am trying to make is that the people you believe to be Anonymous are actually government and federal personnel who use the alter ego of anonymous to make people of the world think that anonymous is good so people will follow in its footsteps. The origin of anonymous is also a lie. Do you really believe that an international hacktivist group that has spawned a new revolution derived from an image board dedicated to jailbait and controversial pictures? I think not. The government linked the fake anonymous group to the website because that is the exact thing the government wants shut down and to make it illegal to post without using your real name and making your IP address visible or accessible to anyone. I hope by now you are starting to realize the truth. Recently the anonymous group targeted the dangerous drug cartel Las Vegas. Do you really think this was called by internet hackers? Of course not. The only organization that is capable or willing enough to close down one of the world's largest organized crime syndicates would be the U.S. government and the CIA. Obviously they once again blamed this so-called group Anonymous to bluff you into supporting them. If you recall every operation made by Anonymous each target perfectly corresponds to consequences or world events that would be beneficial to the CIA or Illuminati. Operation Sony was a fake operation to make people think that the internet is a dangerous place. Operation Brotherhood targeted the Muslim faith, once again a government operation to false flag innocent people to follow in the attack, who in the world would be the first political group to target the Muslim faith. Operation Facebook was also real 
and perfectly connected to the CIA. It was intended to make people attack Facebook, also making the idea that social networks are not safe. So once again it gives the governments more power to close the gap on destroying the Internet. Can you see that the real point of Anonymous was to cause chaos on the Internet for the profit of the government? We have been brainwashed into a false sense that supporting Anonymous and by following its direction will save us from censorship when all it's doing is incriminating and fear-mongering innocent people into attacking websites. All the CIA has to do now is sit back, hack whoever it wants then finally plague the media with the image of a notorious hacking group. It seems nearly impossible that a so-called idea could manipulate so many people into believing the revolution is upon us. Without political and governmental power no way could Anonymous build such a large appearance and force in such a short amount of time. And the only people who could have the authority and skills to access secret FBI files from modern methods of hacking would be the government itself. And that is why Anonymous can pull of its credible hacks. It's strange how every time someone is arrested for taking part in Anonymous operations from whichever country is only arrested or charged with denial of service attacks. These are the innocent people who have been lied into thinking that launching attacks on websites will win them freedom. The other so-called members of Anonymous, such as Barrett Brown was quite possibly working for the CIA to make Anonymous supporters believe that Anonymous can reveal detailed information about people who try to change or play with Anonymous, or he could have been making false claims and was then later targeted by federal hackers for paying too much attention and involvement in the real anonymous. The H.B. Garrett attack was accomplished by government hackers and not activists to expose the fact that security firms are vulnerable on the Internet. Every single anonymous operation has links to government and secret international firms that are destined to finally pull the plug on Internet communications and control the world once and for all. It is exactly the same as the whole President Bush 9-11 incident. The people at the top create a false flag that makes the innocent people believe in something and then uses that attention, media hype or fear to complete the real operation. After spending a few moments looking at pictures related to Anonymous it basically shows a secret person in a suit, or the CIA. Even the Occupy movement is a false flag. It makes people believe that protesting and rebelling against the system will work. That is exactly what the governments want. The more people that protest the more regulations and laws can be placed to tackle the problem, making it look like a basic act from government authority, when in reality it's a big plan to control the population. Anonymous is simply a group tool used by the CIA and Illuminati. To all the people that have the tiniest bit belief in what I'm trying to say, take some time to study Anonymous and soon you will see the truth. To the people who disagree, my point will be proved in the near future. Please heed the following warnings. Anonymous is not your friend. Anonymous wants control and censorship.